Today, I'm going to talk to you and walk you through the steps on how to make a science online notebook for this school year. The first thing you're going to do is your screen should look exactly like mine if you were listening to this video. I would like you to click on the science notebook link beneath this video. When you do so, your screen will look like this. You are then going to click make a copy that is located in the center of your screen. This is going to make a copy of the slideshow that is going to be used as our notebook for this school year and for this unit in particular. Each unit we will make a different slideshow. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase my name or erase student name on the front slide and I'm going to replace it with my name and you should do the same. The second thing you are going to do is you are going to go to the second slide and you are going to uh, name or complete the first day of table of contents. So I'm going to replace lesson name with the name of our lesson, which is 2.1, Importance of the Atmosphere. And you can readjust, if it takes up too many lines, you can readjust the box to make it look nicer. I can't fill out the bottom part here where it says slide numbers because I do not know how many slides worth of notes I will be taking to with today's lesson. So I will wait until I am done taking notes to complete the slide numbers portion. The final thing that I want to do is I want to go up to the title here and I want to delete where it says copy of and I just want it to be named atmosphere and weather online notebook. Now we have to store this in our Google Drive in a very organized manner and I'm going to show you how to set up your Google Drive now. Go to your Wake ID and open up Google Drive. This is the green, yellow, and blue icon that can be found in your Wake ID portal. Once you go to your Wake ID or your Google Drive, you will notice that your notebook is in your Google Drive. But as the year goes on with online school, there will be more and more documents that will be taking up your Google Drive. For science, we are going to keep everything in folders. So the, in order to create a folder, you're going to click New in the top left-hand corner, and a drop-down menu will pop up, and you will click Folder. You are going to name this folder 7th Grade Science. You are going to click Create. You are then going to enter that folder and you will see that there are no documents in here at all. You are then going to open a set or create a new second folder and you are going to title this folder unit two colon atmosphere and weather. And you are going to click create. Now, you are going to return back to your notebook and you are going to click on file. You will see a drop down menu occur and you are going to click on the move button which is right underneath rename. You are then going to find where it says it's going to bring up another drop down menu. You'll see at the top My Drive. Then you will find the seventh grade science folder. And then you will find the Unit 2 Atmosphere and Weather folder. Once you click through both of them, a blue button should occur where it says Move Here. Click on that button. This is going to move your notebook into the proper folders so that way we can remain organized throughout the school year. Being online, being organized while online is going to be extremely important uh, if you are going to be successful with online learning. 
If you maintain your Google Drive and keep everything organized in folders, it will make this year so much easier for you and cause you so much less stress. If you want to double check to make sure your notebook made it into the proper folder, you can make sure by clicking on the seventh grade science folder, unit two atmosphere and weather, and you will see your notebook there. Luckily for you, we will be starting using this today in our uh, video lecture that you are going to move on to next. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, if you want to add new slides and things like that, you should know how to use this, but uh, you will be using the title and body page a lot, as well as if you scroll down, you will see the table of contents. There are many other options that we may look forward to using as the year goes on, but to start off, we're going to keep it very simple. If you have any questions, like I said, don't hesitate to reach out and ask me. Um, thank you for following along and good luck with your new online notebook.